I'm going to design this Bernie Sanders landing page. Uh, he's a US presidential candidate and uh, I'm not an American so I'm just designing his landing page. It looks clean to me so I thought why not I should give it a try and try to create this kind of clean and very elegant kind of uh, simple effective landing page and that's it nothing politi po political here okay so let's start it i will need this logo this image i already have do downloaded them and i have grabbed some phones mm, these phones are like i think custom phones so i may not be able to match them exactly but i have selected some phones from this uh, google phones that's what i'm using so let's start making it and i will need this icon as well this this kind of cross so i will use it from phone awesome let's already search that before we even start so i will need to open the code editor to make this website that's how things work and on my desktop i have this bernie kind of folder and here is index.html i've created this file already and inside css folder i have the css styles.css file that is for styling and inside the phones i have that phone.awesome phone awesome files okay so all that is happening simple and easy nothing complicated here okay how you create the file you know come come on and control and or just file go to file and create a new file and then save that as a uh, whatever i call it index.html for creating html and style.css and that is another file okay now inside the html when you have saved it just press shift exclamation mark or one and this will just press tab or enter and the bare bones will show up now you are ready let's call this and if if i go back to you this website what is written here not me as that image is also here but that will be a different part let's just add the text only and uh, it's a, um oh i think there's a bad thing he's writing not not is the first word he's using that's a very negative word he could be a bit different i'm i have nothing to say but it could be different yeah and there's a dot here i mean first word the enter is not not a good thing okay link then we have to link the css file that is inside the css i mean i have to link the style.css file that is inside this folder and uh, that file is linked i need to link the phone awesome file also so that is inside the css folder inside that folder i have a uh, phones and inside that i have css folder then i have all dot min dot css i am why i'm using this file because this is compressed one this is uh this this kind of loads very fast if i open this with the code editor you see this is compressed it loads very fast and that's the only reason now we need to go to the body because that's where everything happens first of all we will create the header and give it a class of header header is given by the html so instead of giving it, giving it like section and div it's better to use the header that makes sense okay inside this header what we have we have two things one is this cross and the logo i will do one thing first thing is logo so that's an image so inside img folder i should have let me look at the name of this file i count too much inside so let's just call this logo.svg so it's log logo.svg svg is scalable vector graphics okay that's it and uh, the second thing we have over here is an i that's from the phone awesome i'm using so i might have already yes that is times not cross now i need to copy its uh, kind of code the short code it's taking a little bit time so that's very irritating i will go back to the website and underneath the header we need to create the main section and uh, i will give it to the class of main i have not done this website yet i'm kind of doing it okay the times has shown up i just copied the code and i will paste it here instead of like that now the header is done uh inside the css file first thing first you have to put this thing you want to remove all the padding and the margin which is given by the browser 
browser, I mean, whatever browser, let it be Safari, Firefox, or that strange browser, Chrome, and uh, mm, it's okay. And uh, now we need to style the body. Body, we do not have to give any class or ID to the body because CSS understands this. First of all, it needs width 100%. VW means view width, that makes sense. Height automatic, we do not have to decide. Shit should be decide itself. Now we need to style the header. We are using a class because header has a class, it has a name. And first thing first, it needs some kind of width. How much? Let's look at this thing. There's some kind of spacing going on. How about 96%? Makes sense. Height, we have to give it a fixed height of from 60 might be a lot. And then we have to use this margin. At the top, how much our margin we want? Um, zero. We want the header to touch at the top, but in the left and right, we want this to be centered. So, so the auto do that magic. Now, if I load this website now, nothing will be looking good. The Bernie logo is looking too big. We have to make it very small. And uh, if I go, go back to my HTML file, and uh, here's the logo. If I give it a width of around, 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 around 60 pixels, let's see if that do something or not. Here's my browser. No, don't do this. That is making it very small. How about 90 pixels? I mean, why my browser doesn't show up? This, um, I, I will make it 100. That should make sense you see that cross that 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 thing is touching we have to use one thing now which is flex box so display flex and justify content space between now things will be this thing should not appear to me okay on the toggle I want to see the browser and the code editor this thing has gone away. What we want, we want them to be aligned horizontally. So what we use, al align items in the center. If something is not working, try all the options. Something will work. Now this header width should be 100%, I assume. Yes, why? Because we do not. And do we want to place them? If uh, Let's try the space around. How? that's not okay space evenly if i try this then see what happens no neither space between is fine but we need to give them some padding so header should have a padding of okay let's do padding uh top and bottom zero and left and right how much maybe 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 two percent Let's see if that do something or not. Why has that thing gone away? I, uh, okay. Zero at the top, 2%. No, I'm doing it wrong. Let me give it padding from left, 2%. Padding from right, 2%. I think I'm still doing it wrong. I'm still doing it wrong. That thing has flown away. Its width is 100%, but no, no, no. This is wrong. This is wrong. Those things, they have got the names. Why don't I use that? Okay, inside the header, whatever is an I, in that icon of the cross should have padding to the right. I mean, from the right side, it should be pushed a bit so how about like um 10 pixels and if i go to the website then it's a bit more i think around 16 pixels but the logo will be pushed it's okay logo is how close is that logo needs some padding now so inside header 
whatever is an IMG image that should have padding. I could use margin also. Why didn't I use that? Let's use margin. Margin from left should be like 10 pixels. If I try this, then what happens? I can increase this. How about 16 pixels? And let's see if cross is getting affected or not. That's not getting affected. Now, this uh, header has a kind of drop shadow. We are going to do that. So what is the thing that's the header? So we use box shadow. On the x-axis, means left to right, we do not want anything. So how about zero pixels? On up and down, we want kind of two pixels. A blur of 12 pixels, then the color RGBA, zero, zero, zero. 0.1 let's see how does it look we have to tweak it further it's looking kind of okay but i think the shadow over there is very stark so how do we change that if i decrease the blur to eight maybe four um is it closer to that i think i need to this color is okay. Okay, maybe make it one. Then what happens? Or keep it zero and make it three. How much is here? That's very sharp. Very sharp. Five. Ah, uh -huh, the blur blur needs to be less. I think. Is it okay? has a very sharp, very sharp shadow on the y-axis. How about eight? Blur should be eight. Oh, I am unable to achieve this. Why? How about, I think this is spread. No, that too is not helping me. This color is fine, this is pure black. And if I make it large on the x-axis, it doesn't make any difference. On the y-axis, I'm using a huge value. How about 10 pixels? I mean, we have to achieve something. If it is not working, let's try, okay, let's try. How about a blur of 2%, two pixels? And a thing of here like 2%. It's uh, kind of getting closer and and how about four? Uh, is it getting closer? Is it getting closer? Let me see, let me see, let me see how close I am. It should be very very dark and it should have very less blur how about one percent blur one pixel blur and decrease this to two i think now it's closer to that it is or it is not nah. three and if i make it zero on this i think now it's okay Okay, and uh, this icon has got very low opacity. So where is this icon? So its opacity can be 0 0.5. Yes, that is reduced. And I think this icon is a bit larger. And I can increase that size. Font size maybe 1M. You could put 16 pixels, 12 pixels and like those. Has it increased or not? I think it was already that so if i make it two m's it has become huge 1.1 m how different that be. okay it's fine now we are done with this thing we now need to create the main section okay okay inside the main section first thing we have an image but let's create the mm, like main area a div main a area area and inside this we have an image first Inside the images folder, I should have this uh, image and let me look at the image name. 
I need I took a screenshot let's call this B B that's fine and what is this an uh, PNG or JPEG very huge image this is a PNG image so it's PB dot PNG I may need to adjust its size Bernie Sanders that's but that's enough now we need to create that right section where there is some text not me us so it's like uh, an h1 yeah um not me us okay then there is some text we can use the p yes why not so i will just copy the text why should i just type that's very oh i press s instead of c command c i should be pressing i could paste lorem ipsum also but he's a kind of candidate so that's a very bad thing we need where is we i think we need yeah we I, I need to put this break here so that the text comes down then any where is any yes here it is i need to put we are break again then where is the scan yes here again we are now the text will flow down i mean if i come back to the browser again and sh i i will show you yes you can see i need to change the font also i don't like the font i already have copied the font i mean i have taken those fonts from google fonts i just looked for some fonts they are kind of matching and you search phone here whatever you like then press on this plus icon and the phones are selected then I will copy the CSS link just copy this do not copy those styles just this line and paste this inside your CSS file at the top of everything now the phone is imported you go back there and uh, this is the phone for that I have not given it any class I should have given it a class to the h1 or an ID h1 should have um, I will do it again h1 hash title title that makes sense not me us okay now title needs the font it's a ID so hash title does need font family and it is serif phone not sans serif if I load it now the font will be changed yes I we will change the color and also we need to change the other font also so I have copied this leto font and I want this to be applied to the whole main section where is this main section happening I have not taken it yet so main has a class of dot main that is the class name and it needs width how much hundred percent and uh, its height should be automatic we do not have to decide it uh, that's fine now we will use this phone family and this leto is a sun serif phone and if I come back to the browser again you see the phone is kind of changed now this image and uh, that text is inside a, a kind of container the name of that thing is main area so we need to use main area flex always remember flex is your friend flex justify content space between if I reload this now things are changing but we need to adjust this text down so this text is inside something it is uh, it is it is it is not that's a bad thing I should have a container for them so let's call this have I given it anything like details let's create a div with the name of details and I will wrap all the text inside this thing I think this will not make any difference because it did what happened now this text body is inside this div and this div's name is details and now these are 
two elements one is an image and other is this div with the class of details in inside the main area main area is a container that is containing these two things an image and this text body and i am applying flex box on them so now i need to style this details i will go to the css file DETA -E details what does it need it needs to be taken to the left side instead of space between if I use space around what will happen it made some difference but we do not like that because we want that image to go to the extreme and a line item if I do this how about center will it throw down this text it has thrown it way to love but let's adjust it because we have the access to this thing so we need to adjust this margin to the left of maybe some negative margin how about 10 percent 10 percent negative it should come that has not worked d-e-t-a-i-l-s -E d-e let me see about minus 40 percent if it doesn't work then we have to try something new it didn't work so what does it need it needs to be aligned how about align self let's try those things that thing has worked okay the flex we are justifying it justify self to the center let's see if that work or not mm. flex start that is not working either I'm doing very wrong how about margin from right about 20 pixels that is doing something how about if I give some percentage 20 percent that is doing something surely how about 16 percent guys try to make sense okay I I really want you to understand the things I mean there is a kind of problem and we are trying to solve this okay and uh, this this thing has a lot more things going on so this is a kind of box we need to create one more dev that should be underneath this text and let's call that boxes inside that box let's create one box first box no no it should be a button it should have a class of box and inside this button we have some amounts so let's call that what's the first amount it's 2.70 2.70 and now, now I need to duplicate this button like so how many times eight times two three four five six seven eight okay we will use maybe we will use CSS grid to style that box so this these things are okay if I reload it now how does it look those boxes are very small we need to style at least one box I mean all all of them have common class that is box now width let's give them a width of around 200 pixels it may be small or larger and a height of around 48 pixels background color should be kind of red and I need a kind of this red the color of the text inside those boxes should be white you could write just white or FFFF and they should have some padding of around six pixels it's not PS it's PX and uh, what else the border the buttons should be rounded if you come over here you see those buttons are rounded they are not sharp so it is border radius of around six pixels I think that's a kind of okay boris and the border should be none if I don't Add this line there will be a grayish kind of border that will be irritating yes I know they are not looking fine we need to use grid but I think the 200 is too much how about 120 but we will need to reduce the height as well 
um that should be okay that should be okay uh, i will align them i think um 42 let's try that we need to increase the size of text as well inside those buttons so it is font size 1.2 m maybe it is large enough that's fine and uh, it should be wide and it should be bold and how about font weight font weight bold let's see if that works or not kind of works the color should be white columns what is that columns C O L O R. color should be white it may not be perfect white it could be some kind of okay now these boxes these individual boxes inside boxes B O X C S boxes let's create a grid display them as I could use let's box as well there's no problem but let's use grid grid template columns how many times repeat two times how much how much how much uh, one fr let me see if that makes sense kind of making sense and grid template rows again repeat i mean instead of writing all those like 200 200 200 pixels i am using repeats repeat function because we have to type minimum we do not want to type so much so it is repeated like one two three four times four rows so it is four and is it one fraction that will be that i think i may need to use something else instead of these fr now i need to give them gap first of all let's give that row gap how much around four percent or eight percent let's see if that makes sense or not it's kind of making i need to increase this maybe eight percent i think the buttons are still very small we may need to make them bigger now we need to add that column gap is that it should be around four percent i think there's a huge gap right now going on no no how do we adjust that how why don't we increase the size of these buttons around 180 pixels yes that's making things easy now this whole button body should have it is touching the things at the top so we need to give margin at the top of around eight 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 yeah eight percent let's try if that works or not it kind of worked it kind of worked and uh, now what else is there this text should have a different color i think this is a kind of dark bluish color so the i i will need to do something this will need a different class and uh, let's use a span span and put this us inside that span and uh, does it need a class um I, I i will see so this title needs a color where is this title uh, i'm sorry okay this title i already have accessed it so it needs a kind of color blue and i need a kind of this kind of dark very dark blue let me see if it loads or not no, no i'm loading their website uh there is no visible difference okay color i think i cannot judge it i don't know i think it is so this span has a class what is the name of this uh just a span okay whatever uh, inside title no let's try that inside title whatever is a span uh inside t-i-t-l title whatever is a span that should have a color of blue i mean just try a different color that has worked i mean i, I used a tweak something instead of giving a class i mean 
you have to look for the hacks that's what you do as kind of making sense uh, maybe we can increase the size of this phone yes we can make it capitalized uh, how 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 we do that text style no um decoration text decoration uh no italicized how we do that it's uh, maybe uh, text style let me start text emphasis shadow text decoration text line or so let's try that yeah yeah text is text transform let's see that yeah it didn't work uh, this phone doesn't have maybe maybe that should be the reason anyway let's leave with it this thing is not done now uh, those buttons are done but these buttons still have a large gap going on i should instead of all that i should increase the size of these buttons to around 200 pixels let's try that the gap is reducing and have i given the gap already the gap column gap let me look if i have given the column gap guys you have to understand okay i am maybe i'm rushing or uh, but try to make sense i mean just uh, like uh, completing the video will not give you any results you have to understand the things i think now it's it's making sense but that gap is huge how about eight percent at this place I mean this website looks simple okay I mean this looks simple but when you start doing it you understand things you learn things yeah these things are not that easy why this boxes the gap is not <laughs> well, I am absolutely wrong here I am working on the different value I am supposed to, to reduce this not that uh, I think now this thing is perfect we can change those numbers and uh, underneath this we have this kind of text we are going to use a p tag underneath this these buttons so this thing is done underneath this we will and give it a class of uh, yeah just give it a class of info we could leave without that also and it needs to be breaked at go cool. i think this thing should have a width this is the right and if I reload it now, that thing is gone way ahead. So where is this thing happening inside the details? It should be inside the details. Yes, it is. So the details should have a width. Where is this details? It is here. They should have a width of around 20% of the whole body let's try that or maybe we will give it some kind of uh, how about 28 uh, that makes sense but why this text is uh, not going down we need to give it some margin yes so this text has got a clause and that is info and uh, it needs margin at the top of around six percent Let's try if that works or not. That kind of didn't work. How about 12%? Kind of working, but this text needs to be smaller. So the phone size should be 0.8 M's. You could write 12 pixels, 14 pixels. This text is looking too bright. We need to make it very not not very obvious so opacity that's what we have to use how much maybe is 0.6 kind of okay and we don't like the font either so we have to use this font but we have already used in this have i used a font here i should look yeah this is i think no this is i i will use this this phone i'm using this phone so inside info I think this phone is already in use but let's see yeah it is already in, in use this thing is done I mean the thing is done but we can tweak it we can make it further beautiful 
then continue to website there is one more thing so this thing should be here it should be an a tag l i n k link give it a class of link and uh, it should go no where right now it should not go to bernie sanders.com right now c o n t i n u e continue to website so if i reload it now that is there but all this thing if i do uh, this this details text align in the center let me see if that throw things away badly we do not want that we do not want that we do not want that we will need this to be done on this thing only and this thing is has got a class it is link or just link l i n k link text align should be in the center text decoration that underline should not be here it, no it is needed it is needed text decoration is needed the color should be black but its opacity should be bit not too obvious if i reload it now nothing has happened we need to take care of this now opacity should be maybe 6 that's fine now this needs margin from left around 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 around, around like 8% i may be doing it wrongly that's not working mm, still not working can we use something different over here this is the part of the grid so if I use like a uh, line self in the center I mean this flex box is very confusing you have to try all those things and flex end it doesn't work uh, how about justify self justify self center it neither works this is uh, this element is the part of uh, this whole body details and has details got the flex no details is not a flex that's the problem display flex flex direction column let's see now how badly the things will go you see things got aligned instead of doing all those tweaks okay and it needs margin at the top of around eight percent or maybe more that is making sense i think it needs to be larger how about 16 percent that's fine it needs smaller size so the phone size should be have i already used it no 0 0.8 m if i do it now it is kind of looking fine this is the logo this is the cross that's that button i do not have the matching colors exactly the matching colors but i have got buttons and the buttons color is different i mean i can just come here take a screenshot and but by taking screenshots i will need to open the f some like gimp to copy the no 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 worries you know how the things were looking here and uh, you did something here it might not looking be exactly like that but our, after some tweaks i can really make it or maybe i i should give it a different width where is this thing happening this details has got a width of 28 how about 30 or 32 maybe but that margin is not happening this needs a margin to the right maybe if i reduce it now it will go to that side i think if this website is coming into some shape 
and with some tweaks I can exactly match the original website and you have this kind of simple landing page that looks amazing okay there is little difference okay but we can leave with that and you know how this thing was done and uh, you have questions do ask me again okay? and uh, thank you have a great day